for Max Preps top play next on the final stretch. Welcome to the final stretch. We call it that because it's in the spring semester, the end of the year, and we tried to tie it in with baseball as well, trying to get cute with it. Yeah, my name is Chris Stonebreaker. This is Zach Poff, and here are the top plays. So hot right now is the backflip catch, and here in this top play, Jamison Scarber of Harrison High in Michigan pulls it off by catching with two hands and then flipping. Great athleticism and concentration Ooh. from the class of 2016 corner. Now, Stoney, this might be the play of the year right here. James Island High School, as you'll see on the replay, Yasir al Kamishi sets it up with the first bicycle pass. William Lee gets this by the goalie for the goal for James Island High School out in Charleston, South Carolina. Play of the year, in my opinion, Stoney. Wow, that's a book it. <laughs> okay, every time a football player makes a ridiculous one-handed catch from now on, we will be comparing it to Odell Beckham Jr. And for good reason, as Odell's catch was incredible. Here, you see such a case and that this one will draw such a comparison as Alonzo High in Florida's wide receiver, Raj Ballinger, reaches up and hauls in the one-handed sideline catch Reminiscent of the Giants wide receiver. That was big time. You know what else was big time? Charles Timpson told us there as he ripped this ball to left field. His squad down two runs. There were two guys on base in the bottom of the seventh inning. You see both runs come in there to tie it. Now it comes down to Charles Timpson told us the catcher. And he is going to have himself a walk off inside the park home run, baby. Get there, your angel Pagan on. There was like no fence back there. Now, who here can kick a soccer ball 40 yards? Raise your hand. I can. Okay, Zach, put your hands down. As we all know, that ain't true. <laughs> but what is true is Kyle Green of Maryville Getchell in Washington can and proved it by winning the game on a 40-yard boat. Ooh, straight missile right there. Missile. Now, let's head out to Maryland, and Avalon High School pulls off one of the more bizarre triple plays you're ever going to see. Now, bear with me. I know it's hard to see. Pan the camera up, baby. But you see the left fielder there make the catch for the first down. Now, he comes home. A run comes in, but check out the heads-up play by the catcher. Throws it to second. Tag applied. You can't see it, but the umpire calls him out. The second baseman comes home to the pitcher for the, you know, routine 7-2-4-1 triple play. Avalon High School, man. Get on here with that Super triple play. Easy. That, that guy's keeping it centered, though, with that cross <laughs> in the middle. Chris Rolfing, goalie for Woodbury High in Minnesota, gets pulled out of the goal area while trying to deflect a pass and then has to use cat-like reflexes to get back and protect the six-by-six-foot goal with an amazing diving save. That diving was big save. And I have a cat bitten tongue right now. Now, you know who wasn't cat bitten? Seven-year-old Alejandro here with the Lionel Messi moves in. He finds the back of the net past the goalie. Now, check it out again. Look at that spin move and just the ability to spin around, hit the ball, and he does it two times. Ronaldo. Messi. Okay, you no, go with you're Messi. You're old, Stoney. Uh, the kids I'm, nowadays uh, like Messi. Ronaldo's uh, old news I'm nowadays. talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> he's still young, and he's hot with the ladies. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> now, that was a really good, feel-good story yeah. we could have ended on, but we could not end this top play segment without highlighting all that took part in or witnessed the first unified basketball game for Pittsburgh High in a Bay Valley Athletic League contest with Deer Valley of Antioch in California on April 23rd. Kids with and without special needs combined to unite schools, score baskets, and touch hearts. Be sure to watch the entire video on Max Prep. Dot com. Man, just an uh, amazing story, and it's great, great to see. I wish more schools would do stuff like that. And also, you know, got to give a shout out to Mitch Stevens mm -hmm. there to cover it, along with Scott Hargrove, one of our video producers there, to go out and film that one. I mean, yeah. just a tremendous job, and it's awesome to get stories like that really out there where people can be like, oh, wow, that's that's really cool, and I wish I'd see more schools I think do that. it's going to catch on a lot because yeah. it is something really cool to bring the special needs students with the non-special yeah. needs students into something special yeah, for it's, it's the awesome. whole community. We out. This is Zach Poff. I am Chris Stonebreaker. This was the final stretch. Keep on clicking on to MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.